Hello everyone. So let's start today's class. In today's class, we will see why water's freezing point and boiling point are chosen as reference point in thermometer scale. Okay, which is generally asked question or whatever you might have got doubt so what is that doubt let me write here first so generally you are getting this doubt what is that why why water freezing point why water Freezing point and and boiling point and boiling point are chosen are chosen as a reference point as a reference point in thermometer scale or on thermometer scale thermometer scale is what the question is so usually we are seeing if suppose here i am having a celsius scale yes suppose this is a celsius scale okay and here this is a lower fixed point it is zero zero degree celsius here it is what upper fixed point this is how much 100 degree celsius if we will choose similarly another scale suppose kelvin scale or something like that then you are having here 273 kelvin 373 kelvin so these all are chosen in such a way that they are nothing but freezing and boiling point of water so why they are choosing like that so see here some points i am trying to give you why it is with respect to water only so first point is when these scales were developed there was little thought given to the total span of temperature okay so the scales were patterned to provide to provide a convenience for everyday living so first point i am writing convenience convenience for everyday living this was the first thought Okay, what is the question? Why water freezing point and boiling point are chosen as a reference point on thermometer scale? Because when these scales was designed or whatever the thought was there, that time they felt that whatever we are going to construct the units or these reference points, it should be convenient for everyday living. And second point you can see which I felt which is important that is freezing point and boiling point freezing point and boiling point of water of water at one atmospheric pressure 
one eight here. This is what atmospheric pressure. Means this is one standard. Again, this is a measurement standard at this pressure. Which pressure? One atmospheric pressure. Freezing point and boiling point of water is zero degree Celsius and hundred degree Celsius. So with respect to this pressure, it is convenient to choose the freezing point and boiling point of water as a reference. These are the two points which we are going to consider for this reference on thermometer scale. Yes? Next. Now, let's learn what is the absolute zero temperature and triple point of water. Okay. What is the absolute zero? Already I told. Then also, let me tell you one more time. What is the absolute zero temperature? So let's see what is the absolute absolute zero temperature so what is this absolute zero temperature this is nothing but see minimum or the lowest temperature possible what is this this is the lowest temperature possible i am writing here see lowest temperature possible yesterday we have learned what we have learned the maximum temperature has no limit but the lowest temperature is what absolute zero so lowest temperature possible is this and what is its value yes its value is equal to zero kelvin which is equal to if we will convert this zero kelvin into celsius you are getting minus 273.15 degree celsius you can usually in calculation no need to take this 0.15 you can treat as minus 273 degree celsius in calculation this is a standard value even on thermometer scale also lowest fixed point or lower fixed point is 273.15 degree celsius upper fixed point is 373.15 degree celsius but we are taking 273 and 373 so that's why you are getting here this 0.15 this is standard one this is equal to if we will see this is equal to minus 460 degree fahrenheit and keep it in mind this is not the plus 273 degree celsius this is 273.15 degree celsius okay here minus 460 degree fahrenheit also i have written so these two this is on kelvin scale this is on celsius scale and this is on fahrenheit scale all these are value of absolute zero temperature that is nothing but lowest temperature possible now in kelvin scale you see lower fixed point is how much there 273 kelvin that is also plus not this on celsius scale you see lower fixed point is what zero not this on fahrenheit scale what is the lower fixed point 32 not this so you might have got the answer of your question whatever i told yesterday the lower fixed point 
and upper fixed point of the scales are just nothing but the temperature that is freezing point of water and boiling point of water on that corresponding scales and this is what the lowest temperature possible okay now let's learn what is the triple point of water now you understood absolute zero temperature let's learn now what is that triple point of water so let me erase this let's learn what is the triple point of water triple point of water yes let's learn this what is this triple point of water so you can see here there is a word that is triple triple point triple point means what all the three states okay solid liquid and gas of water because as this is a triple point of water so we are talking about water triple point so how i can write can i write like this all three states all three states of water of water coexist coexist at this point what is the case all the three states of water what is that in bracket i am writing solid solid liquid and gas all three states of water is it possible have you seen that ice what water is also boiling in that ice is there and from that steams are also coming out so it is generally not occurring at normal temperature and pressure yes so what we have to do we have to attain some temperature and pressure in some specially designed labs let me tell you how they are attaining the triple point of water let me tell you so see here now to attain this what they are doing you can see there is a plate what is there this is a plate okay you can assume that this is a glass plate and in that water is there what is there water and some ice also there yes okay this plate consists of ice and water what is here you can see here is ice plus water okay now this thing we are going to keep in a vacuum chamber where we are keeping this we are keeping this into the vacuum chamber this is what vacuum chamber
vacuum chamber means from where we can decrease the pressure as well as temperature also here whatever it is inside there is there should not be effect of outside pressure or temperature on the inside thing as well as we should able to increase or decrease the temperature and pressure whatever the contents are there inside this temperature or inside this vacuum chamber so what is the point inside this whatever things are there we should be able to decrease or increase temperature or pressure okay now at particular temperature and pressure if i will see if the temperature is 0.01 degree celsius and pressure is equal to 0.006 atmosphere at this temperature and pressure what happens here you will observe that in this plate there is the process of formation of ice as well as this will start boiling also this will start boiling also yes so at this particular temperature you will feel that or you will see that there is the simultaneous boiling plus freezing as well as sometimes we can say or you say like this in general language you will you will see inside this at this temperature the state of this that is solid state as well as liquid also and boiling also so solid liquid and gas so as i told before you can simultaneously see the ice is forming this water is going to contract it is forming ice and at the same time it is boiling also yes it is boiling also so at this particular stage means the temperature is what what we have attained temperature 0.01 degree celsius and pressure is what 0.006 atmosphere then at this point simultaneously three things will occur that is what solid liquid and gas and therefore this is termed as the triple point of water triple point of water means what the point at which all three states of water coexist understood this is what the triple point of water next one let's learn how the what is the graph of this triple point of what i'm drawing here you can check it or you can see here suppose i have drawn graph like this for this triple point of water i have taken pressure on y okay what i am doing i am plotting the graph of this triple point of water so pressure i have taken on y axis and temperature i am taking on x axis this is temperature at this point what is this triple point and then from here you will see you will get like this graph okay here at this point what will be the temperature 0.01 degree celsius and if we will see this pressure this is how much 0.006 atmosphere yes 0.006 atmosphere this is what triple point now in between these two if suppose you will change little pressure or temperature 
in these two regions you will get liquid form of water liquid form of water next to here here it is what in between these two regions you will get the steam of water and here it is what in this region you will get solid state of water so see below this temperature below this pressure listen here what is that below this whatever you can see this point below this temperature water is not possible in liquid form you know in liquid form it is not possible at which pressure below 0 0.06 006 and temperature 0 0.01 degree celsius below this it is not possible above this it is possible water in liquid state so can i add one point here can i add like this below triple point below triple point liquid form is not possible liquid state is not possible of water you know you can see here it is either be solid or gas so above this is possible liquid state is possible but below this is not possible this is what you understand the triple point of water so one more time what we did in this first we defined it what is that the all three states of water coexist at this point that point is called triple point of water then we have seen one activity which they did in the lab we have taken a vacuum chamber we have taken a plate we can say in that ice plus water we kept then we have decreased the pressure yes what we did decrease the pressure when we decrease the pressure and at particular temperature we found that in this plate what is happening ice is starting forming at the same time water is boiling as well as liquid is also boiling means there is liquid yes so all these three states you can observe at this point at which point triple point of water then i told what is that temperature 0 0.01 degree celsius and p is what 0 0.006 atmosphere okay and below this triple point liquid state is not possible of water understood this is what triple point next one now see here temperature of temperature of triple point of water how much it is temperature of triple point of water is how much 0 0.01 degree celsius you can see here 0 0.01 degree celsius if i will convert this temperature into kelvin conversion into kelvin what we should do we know c by 100 is equal to k minus we know this convert into kelvin so you see here we know c minus 0 divided by 
hundred is equal to k minus two seventy three by hundred. So this hundred and this hundred will get cancelled. We are getting c is equal to k minus two seventy three. Now what is c here? Zero point zero one is equal to k minus two seventy three. So this is k is equal to how much? One minute. Here, if suppose reference standard values, I will take standard values that is what two seventy three point one five. Then here also I will take two seventy three point one five. These are the standard values. This is just standard values. While doing calculation, so many times no need of this point one five. Keep it in mind. So this k. If I am means I am transferring these terms this side, then I am getting how much here? This is plus. So this is equal to two seventy three point one six. Yes, is that right? Check it once. So this is what we got the temperature of triple point of water. How much it is? Two seventy three point one six Kelvin. And this is what you are. Lower fixed point of Kelvin scale, which is generally we are treating as a two seventy, which is similar to that we can say, which is similar to that, not that because here it is zero point zero one degree Celsius, which is similar to this is very nearest. That's why we are treating as a triple point of water. What is this? Zero point zero one degree Celsius. We have converted into Kelvin. How much we got? Two seventy three point. One six Kelvin. Okay, so at this temperature, triple point of water is existing. Now one more note point I want to give you. One more note point. One more note point. Note number one triple point of water, triple point of water, triple point of water exists. Exist at zero point zero one degree Celsius. Zero point zero one degree Celsius, which is equivalent to which is equivalent to standard one I am writing here, which is equivalent to two seventy three point one six Kelvin. And next point you see here, absolute zero. See here the difference. Absolute zero temperature temperature is equal to zero Kelvin is equal to zero Kelvin is equal to minus minus. You keep in mind this is minus two seventy three point one five. Two seventy three point one five degree Celsius. You put in mind this is what degree Celsius, which is equivalent to minus four sixty degree Fahrenheit. This is what absolute zero temperature. And one more before that, one more line I want to give you. Is a very important in this only. At absolute zero temperature, there is no motion and no heat. At absolute, at at absolute zero temperature, there is no motion and no heat. There is no motion. 
and no heat. Okay. And last one more point that is not point. What is that? So absolute zero finish, triple point of water finish, 0 0.01 degree Celsius. Okay. Oh, yes. And here I want to give one more point that is absolute zero is the lowest temperature possible. Absolute zero is the what? Zero is the lowest temperature, lowest temperature possible. Okay, so please go through this. Yes, try to understand. Read one more time. Revise the scales, whatever we have finished. And if you have doubt, ask. Okay. Send me on WhatsApp or you can call. Okay. So we will stop here. Please revise and read the maximum theory which is on this topic. Okay. So we'll stop here. Have a great day.